play in there, babies. Oh, look, that little one just took a tumble in there. Slipping on the mud, oh, shame. Oh, this is fantastic, what a nice surprise. Now, I think for some reason, this one female is looking a little, not not aggressive, just a bit tense. I wonder if it, or they were moving very quickly. I think possibly just excited to get down to the water. But now I don't understand why they would come to the edge of the this steep embankment to try and come and drink here. Yeah, that's unusual. I mean, they had water, but I think what's happened is there's a bull behind them. And I wonder if that bull isn't causing a bit of, not distress, but unease within the herd. Oh, there's definitely something, something going on. Look at that interaction. You see that male? The back there is, there he comes. Walking through, you can hear the little ones were trumpeting. I was hoping they'd actually all come down and drink, but they've walked right past. Starting to warm up nicely. There goes that bull. It's a youngish bull, not a not a particularly big. Well, he is still big, but not a particularly old bull. I think he is going to turn into a rather big bull. Really starting to warm up. Time for <laughs> that little one. Sounds like it's got a sinus problem with that little trumpet it tried to give. There they go. So it's interesting that they didn't stop to drink. But again, you know, there's a lot of moisture around on all the vegetation that they are feeding on. So that's possibly about oh, but look at that little one. That's a very cute little elephant. Staying very close to the adults. <laughs> oh, they move very quickly through this area. So our timing was perfect to get to the dam. Because if we uh, I think if we had been a few more minutes, I think we probably would have missed them. Just having a look at females watching us quite carefully, smelling. A nice big female, looks like quite an old female. This lovely light coming through now too. Can hear her communicating. That very low frequency grumble which they give that vocalization. And then look, those little ones all just all turn and they are heading back to the female. I wonder if they're going to want to walk past us. So Canadian Emily, um, you will get uh, young males staying with the herd, obviously, but when they get to a certain age, they then, um, and Canadian Emily, just give me a second, I just like to move out the way for these elephants quickly. Just shame they want to walk past us. So what I'm going to do is back up a little bit. It looks like they want to head this way. Let's see. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop over here, give them some space, and see if they do decide to move on this way. But it's just and it's not because they're aggressive at all, but again, you know, I've always said we need to be sensitive, and if I can see an animal wants to move in a certain 
direction i'll move out the way for it just like that leopard did this morning he turned he came back towards us rather move out the way there's no need to keep the vehicle there and see how close they can get because um you know if the animals feel comfortable they will walk past if they want to so canadian emily getting back to your question um the young young males will stay within the herd up until a certain age then they get pushed out or they leave and they try and meet up with big dominant bulls that will probably teach them how to be successful and where to move around and what areas and so on where to look for food um but then every now and then you will get big males that come and um, join a herd and the reason for that is they are looking to see if any females are in estrus and that they may potentially mate with so that is that is what that is um, or why that male is there i think it's but it it's not often that you see a, a big male within a herd we've seen the last last week or two weeks we've actually seen males within the herds and um, now they don't have a specific mating season but there's possibly just uh just a lot of activity a lot of males in must at the moment out of summer because there's a lot of good food water so ideal conditions for mating possibly Rebecca you asked is it true that an elephant can remember a person by its scent Rebecca um, I you know what I I've, I've seen um doc i suppose documentaries you could call them documentaries or shows on elephants and elephants picking up scent and being able to find certain certain objects or certain people once they've smelt them i would not be surprised if an elephant can remember uh, the scent of something or someone that they've smelt i'm almost sure of it they're incredibly intelligent animals and their sense of smell is so acute so very very good Oh, there's an elephant that's come to drink just off to the right. There we go, there's another one. That one's having a bit of a drink. Sure, can you believe how it's warming up, Craig? Getting very hot. Well, these elephants have decided to, to now stand and wait. Oh, I don't know why why that is again you know that's the wonderful thing about nature is sometimes animals just do things and we don't know why it's just nice to to view and appreciate them because we don't always have all the answers they're wild animals they'll do whatever they like but have a look these elephants are still just standing very still off to the side i've given them space so they i think that's why they're just happy to stand and wait I was hoping that they would decide to walk in this direction. I'm going to sit here a little bit longer with these large animals, but Taylor's got small little creatures to show you. <laughs> 